Phoenixes are born through the physics of time. I am a time theorist who is unraveling the world's largest cryptic mysteries of our era. I am the woman in the steel mask. There is a problem in the city. A lot of people feel it may be lack of self-assertiveness, lack of confidence, inability to love oneself or love others, greed or apathy. And they turn to self-help books or escape in the TV. Because basic things like love cannot grow in the city as it is. And that is because everybody has a common problem. And that is the it is a privilege, not a right. And you are a guest here mentality. People grow up and learn to survive from their parents. And so you stick with what you know. And very, very few people in the city realize that there are alternatives. So when I was young, I was very privileged to have a cottage I would spend a month at every year. And I would pick berries and fish and develop that kind of esteem that I could survive on my own if I had to. But I needed to go all the way with it. I needed to at least know that there was somebody out there who completely lived alone. And I was fortunate enough to find such a person. He had died before I ever had a chance to meet him. He had built a small hut off a small highway. People weren't sure which was there first. And he lived there with his best friend, who was a pig. Nobody knew his name. Nobody knew where he'd come from. His cabin was in Whitefish, and it was next to an Indian reserve. When I was little, my mom would pull over the car and I would go inside. I would look at the way he constructed his cabin. He used tin cans newspapers which I was told the Finns often use for insulation and use carpets and I envied him all I ever really knew about him was that when people would have car accidents on the highways he would come out and help them and one winter he and his best friend the pig froze to death
I would never come back as a guest. I felt that I was willingly participating in the city. And when you feel that it is a choice you had made, that you always had the choice all along, things like greed and apathy and low self-esteem are not there. family founded the site to the world's largest, deepest, and of the most scientifically advanced mining systems to ever exist. And in light of this, I'm able to take on topics where others fear to tread. From Lady Diana to the many film sets I've worked on and even UFOs. Make sure to press the bell and subscribe to hear more.